Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have an exclusive which I was so excited to show you. Drum roll please. Du, 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 du. You already had a sneak peek. It's the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. It's a beautiful glass bottle which is the same as, guess what? Da, 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 da. They're the actual same bottle but this is see-through. Together with this primer, Huda has released the ultimate full filter foundation stick it's got a skin finish you ready to see this wow look at that I love 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 the packaging very easy compact you can take it anywhere I'll show you side by side Wow. I don't want to keep you on your toes. Let's go. To be honest with you, I was a little bit nervous when I heard about it. I mean, jelly. I'm not a fan of jelly, but you got to check this out. It's more like a serum. So it says dispense one pump. Hold on. There we go. Look at that consistency. Once it hits your skin, it's like water. It's more like a serum. So I'm just going to apply it. That feels really nice. Do you want to know if it's tacky? It's slightly tacky actually. It definitely feels moisturized. It has to wait 60 seconds to get the best possible results and make it really sink in, melt into your skin to achieve that beautiful canvas to start your foundation routine with. I got the beautiful full filter skin finish foundation stick in the shade Toasted Coconut. Look at that beauty. So I just kind of looked at the comparison guide, the beauty's website, and I chose something that I think would suit my skin tone. So without further to do, oh my god, I'm so excited. Let's try this. Let's see if I got the shade right. Bingo! Oh, I'm happy with that shade. So I better get working. I I'm a beauty blender lover. So this is just one coat. I am really impressed with that. I'm more of a full coverage girl, but I mean this for every day feels very light, very airy, I love it. I wanna try and build it up and see what happens. But that's after the second coat. Look at that. I mean, it's literally flawless. Bear in mind, I've got no concealer on yet. Wow. I thought you'd need quite a bit to build it to a good amount of coverage because, you know, it's a liquid foundation. It's really thick. This foundation has no fragrance, so I don't know why everybody hates the fragrance. I personally love it. And I've got the Overachiever Concealer in Nugget and I thought I'd just try with the Huda Beauty bits because just to keep it consistent. Maybe it's a bit too thick for this foundation. Let's see. go and set my makeup with the Pound Cake Easy Bake Loose Powder. Go in with the blush. I'm gonna go in with Frosted Kiss. I'm gonna use the Haze Liquid Matte Mini. I'm gonna go for the shade Venus. And my eyes with the khaki haze palette i absolutely love this palette i'm gonna go about my day i'll be back to show you what it looks like it's been eight hours now let's zoom in oh my god i'm nervous about this my oils have come through a little bit um through here but nothing that some powder can't take for my final verdict i was nervous about the texture because it said it was a jelly i find it's more like a watery serum 
and I particularly love how fresh the skin feels after you wear it and once it's absorbed I love that layer of silky finish that you get which is perfect because it makes it a beautiful canvas to put the foundation on it's suitable for all skin types because see my oily zone didn't produce extra oil my dry zones are still super hydrated which these are my problem zones when it comes to dryness I like that my makeup didn't uh, really crease it's not it's not obvious it's not noticeable and I really recommend it it's actually really good and there's quite a lot of product you only need one pump you don't need any more it's absolutely brilliant lightweight vegan you can use the same primer with both the foundations let's get down to the nitty-gritty and talk about the star of the show so I really loved that it's a light to medium coverage formula I like that you can build it up to almost full coverage but you can still see my beauty spots like I quite like that because it makes it even more natural I like that it's lightweight so I don't feel like I'm wearing like a layer of foundation it feels really light I love the dewy finish that it has and you've got this natural finish that is just so flawless so you're basically faking flawless skin in opposed to wearing like a whole load of foundation that you can obviously see and it's vegan it's fragrance free worked really well with my combination skin i didn't uh, get caking i didn't get those flaky patches my extremely oily zones didn't shed that much oil as i expected considering that i used a primer but i made sure also that i didn't use a moisturizer before using that primer and, and this foundation how does it compare to the cult favorite well this is a full coverage foundation and i found that this the major improvement that it had for me was with this one i'm always scared of transfer like with this one like even if i go like that see there's no change and it hasn't transferred which see it's unmoved and also by the way in these eight hours i ate so look it didn't break up here in the usual places where sometimes this one tends to like with time it creases i really like this one for photography but this one is really good like if you're looking for a natural foundation that gives you like flawless natural skin then this is your go-to and the thing with this foundation it says that it's water waterproof and sweat proof we're gonna test that out let's try the waterproof i'm going in i just wanted to show you that i'm actually doing it and then let's see what happens okay so i showed you i actually wet my face so i got a towel just let's see the transfer it's minimal honestly that's crazy so it is waterproof oh my god it's waterproof you could actually go to the pool and someone could splash you and you'd still be okay i hope you enjoyed this i hope you got all the info you needed i recommend it combination skin this is what happens with oily skin it works great but then again you have to powder and there's a few tricks to that which you can find on my website and with dry skin is just a killer honestly it does so great and if you've got pores or acne scars it may, it may still come through if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and if you want to know all the details because there are so many details that I couldn't include in this video because it would be too long, it would be like a mini encyclopedia. Just click on the link of my website where you can get all the gossip and the guide to this foundation and this primer. I love you guys, bye!